down to campaign 2020 and we're only three days till the Iowa caucuses. The morning insiders wanted to get a first hand look at this uniquely Iowa process. CBS 2's Tim McNicholas back to take us to rural Dubuque County. We're at Bright Bucks Country Dining in Balltown, Iowa. This is where the caucus will be held. Uh, Welcome week to tomorrow. Iowa's oldest operating restaurant and bar. This is a very uh, warm community. Bright Box opened in 1852 and it's Probably filled with antiques and knickknacks. Like there's a lot of pride, a lot of tradition. Come Monday, it won't be serving up chicken and ham. Instead, a healthy portion of democracy is on the menu. Well, hopefully it will be filled with a lot of enthusiastic voters and hopefully it will be all uh, discussed in a civil manner. <laughs> Nestled in the rolling hills of rural Dubuque County, this place is a fixture in the community. People are very civic minded. It'll be lively. Joe Sigworth is a retired dairy It'll farmer so and now part time employee at Bright Box. It's the pulse of the, the town and the community. Without this, uh, an awful lot of our county would, would die. This is, this is a, a lifeline, a bloodstream. <laughs> this is one of hundreds of caucus locations across the state. Most are now at places like schools, libraries, and churches. It's going to count standing, and one is going to count bleachers. Caucusing in less institutional places, like pubs and living rooms and barns, is a dying tradition, in part because of modernizations like fire codes and the Americans with Disabilities Act. And during the caucus, Bright Box will have a different feel to it. There won't be any food or drink served to the people in here. Instead, they'll be focused on one thing, finding the right candidate for the job. It'll be a sense of serious discussion uh, of, of, rather than a lot of laughter. People will be here down to business. And it's a business taken seriously because... This is the way it's done in Iowa. Reporting from Balltown, Iowa. Just down the road from this scenic overlook, Tim McNicholas, CBS 2 News. Well, almost anything can still happen, and CBS 2 will be there every step of the way. Don't miss one minute of the action. CBS 2 political investigator Dana Kozloff will be there in Iowa to bring you live reports and online. Just search Iowa Caucus CBS Chicago.